Hello you guys, welcome back to channel Claire. I just wanted to get on here really quickly because I'm seeing news about this whole Janelle and David situation with Jace that is very perplexing to me. And North Carolina is so backwards and so backwood and just like, I'm, I'm, I'm really not trying to be insulting, but I just feel like their laws are so ass backwards and the focus is so like skewed they don't have legal weed there but a man who was charged with <clears throat> assault and strangulation on a child was able to keep other children in their current home and apparently we're hearing from the ashley reality roundup that jace was placed in a new location and I was wondering, I literally just said, I was wondering where he was at. And now this comes out that he's been placed in a new location. In this location, the person he's with is in connection to David. How is this stuff allowed? How, like, it's so, but you can't go smoke a joint if you want to. But you have a man who is a known abuser have kids in his home and you are now allowing the child who had this situation and scenario to stay with somebody in connection with him and it's sad that I, I think it's because there's literally nobody else of course you don't want him to go to foster but it's almost like who are those people <laughs> like in connection to David it just gives makes it like a side eye situation because we know how David is and so birds of a feather flock together it's it it's just strange it's very very strange how cps the law whatever down there in north carolina is allowing this to happen and it does seem that janelle and david just get away with stuff it's like they have connections down there and they just get away with stuff they make their life hell for a little bit and then they like give them a slap on the hand and send them on their way. I did hear that Janelle was over there harassing the police so much that they were like, if you keep calling, we're going to lock your ass up. But I mean, I, I'm just not understanding. Apparently she's having visits with Jace as well. I'm so perplexed. Um, granted, I think I heard read that like Jace had a choice, like if he wanted to communicate with his mom, um, so if she is visiting him, I guess it means that hopefully it means that it is his choice to see his mom. Um, and who doesn't want a mother and child to have a connection and a relationship? Like, I, I don't feel like I have an issue with that. The issue is like, why someone connected to David? And it's sad because he can't go back to Barbara's. Like, I, I guess that was the only choice. And the fact that I just saw possibly that his CPS case was dropped, I, it's all too much. It's really all too much. And these people get away with it, which is why they keep doing the effed up shit that they do. Because they, they just keep getting away with it. And Janelle in particular has been getting away with shit for years. Okay, so the Ashley Reality Roundup posted this exclusive not too long ago, about an hour ago. It says Janelle Evans visiting her estranged son Jace after he's moved to new location. Jace being cared for by someone connected to David. Ethan, ew. Janelle Evans is trying to reestablish her broken relationship with her estranged son Jace. <clears throat> the Ashley can exclusively reveal that the Fire Teen Mom 2 star has been seeing her 14 year old for the past few weeks, despite Jace previously wanting nothing to do with Janelle. Um, Jace also wanted nothing to do with Janelle's husband, David Eason, who has a pending child abuse charge and a new assault by strangulation charge for his alleged assault of Jace last year. Yet, he's staying with somebody and connected to this man. I feel like I don't have an issue with Janelle trying to reestablish a relationship, but if she's still with David and she's still going to bring him around, that's where the issue lies. That is where the issue lies. 
like assault by strangulation. Someone put his... Okay. However, Janelle's visit with Jace are not happening at her home on the land, as David is still banned from seeing or being near Jace. Good. Good. I'm glad. Janelle does not have custody of Jace of any kind. Good. Because it's just, it's never, it doesn't seem to work out. And I'm sure he's testing the waters. And I mean, he's at that age where you do want your mom. Like, I couldn't imagine being 14 not having my, my mother. You know what I mean? Despite, it's just crazy. Um... So, she doesn't have any custody, but she is now allowed to see him and communicate with him, a source tells to Ashley. I thought people were gagged. What happened to people being gagged the hell up? But, but now, David's talking online about there's no rain cam footage. We got the Ashley giving us tea on the visits that are going on and where the location of Jace is. Is the gag lifted? What happened? Because people are still talking. I guess they said, well, David fucking talked. And he's the damn suspect. He's the abuser of the situation. They did nothing to him. So I guess we could talk and still, you know, do our thing over here. <sighs> Craziness. So. <sighs> Sources confirm to the Ashley that Jace is still under CPS custody. However, his name legally... However, his named legal caretaker currently is someone with ties to David. This has been the case since the end of December. Wow. The Ashley is not naming the person or providing further details. So, and I think that's good. We don't need to know. It's bad enough that they're in connection to David. Yeah. Um, this is a temporary situation as there are plans for Jace to go to another long-term location, one source tells the Ashley. Right now, he is out on the condition that he abides by all the rules, and so does his caretaker. The Ashley will confirm that the caretaker is not Janelle, David, or Janelle's mom, Barbara Evans. Dang. Jace is to be monitor, uh, monitored 24-7, the source says. So far, the caretaker has followed the CPS rules, and there have been no issues. Jace is actually doing well. Who is Marissa with? Because maybe he's, like, who is Marissa stay with? Because maybe they had a good relationship, and they're around, like, similar ages. And they've dealt with the foolishness. Like, who else knows what's been going on out there on the land other than Marissa, you know? So I wonder who she's staying with. But somebody in connection with David. But they say that he's doing well, which is great. Since Jace moved locations, Janelle has been seeing him a lot more. She only saw him a few times while he was at his previous location, but since... He's been at this current location. Janelle has visited him and brought Ensley and Kaiser as well, a second source said. Oh, so that's a whole other source. They just talking. They shit gagged up no more, clearly. Barbara, whom Team Mom 2 fans know, had custody of Jace from the time he was an infant, literally, until March of last year, when Janelle gained custody, is allowed to visit and call Jace as well. Good. However, Barb and Janelle are very much still at odds. Of course she is. She just threatened to air out Barb on Facebook just the other day. Everything's Barb's fault. Absolutely everything. <clears throat> so they're still at odds a whole decade later. And Janelle really, I don't think she's like, Barbara is not young. She's up there and it's like she has all this disrespect and just venom for her mother and blames everything on her. She... I'm not trying to put anything out there, but, like, she's going to be the type to, like, be so shocked and so hurt and so distraught should something, God forbid, happen to Barbara. And then you left it on bad terms. Life is just so too short for this foolishness. It's just, it's just is. Um, so they're strange still. Still at odds. And um, mother and daughter do not visit Jace at the same time. No, that would be way too much 
Although Jace had previously sworn off seeing his mother, his attitude has softened a bit. Good, according to the source. But regardless, he has been assured he will not go back to Janelle's home with that man. That's me adding it. And he does not want to, the source says. But as of right now, he's doing well. Mm, 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 mm. So, that's what's happening. That's what's happening. And I think that it's so, it's shitty as hell. Anyway, someone needs to investigate CPS in whatever county the Eastons live in because I'm just not understanding how this is happening. And they just get away with the shit. They just get away with it. And uh, I don't have faith that if these charges are still on David, the assault by strangulation, allegedly, I just don't have faith anything's going to be done with it. Like, is he going to, do we really think he's going to do jail time? No, I just don't see it. And that's a sad situation. And all it does is keep showing them that they can do any and everything and get away with it. And uh, it's very interesting what some people can do and get away with. It is. It truly is. But that's it. I hope that you guys have a great rest of your evening. I am going to go get some rest. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in another video. Bye.